does it take to be happy? How many times do you have to feel lonely before you get the chance to meet someone? Before you get to meet someone like you? Hello. What do you reckon? Cute. You think she's cute ish? Mm. Oh, be careful. She's opening her eyes. She might, she might know your voices. It's alright. How do we take her out? Uh, no, like, if anybody was sort of a bit of a cord, I'd try to rope her out before. Yeah. Take me away. I'm okay if I got you. We don't have to stay. We can do what we want to. Just give a little bit of your heart. Give a little bit of your heart to me. start to heal when I'm with you and I can't explain how I feel when I'm with you just give a little bit of your heart give a little bit of your heart to me just come give me all your love and my throat's really horsey I've had like two full nights two awake full nights I've had no rest um, the night she was born and last night, last night, um, just continuous feeding and awake, mucus, unsettled, um, you can hear my voice, it's crazy, <laughs> so hoarse, but, um, otherwise doing really well, gorgeous, look at all that hair, I can't believe it, um, loving this place, it's so nice, it's even got the big, um, veranda deck, outside, open the courtyard doors. I had a really nice early breakfast. And um just gonna do some skin to skin with this little one now. And um yeah, really happy with how it's all going. Um besides the sleepless nights. So I'll recharge, relax, rest, recharge here and then um head home to the boys. They came and picked us up from hospital yesterday and brought us in up to here to the birthing unit until we go home and they weren't too happy about that going home by themselves with dad um they wanted me and baby to go so the hunter especially was a little bit upset but they've got school today and school tomorrow so yeah we'll stay here another night and then we'll head home tomorrow <laughs> Thank you. 
So my darling boys picked me up and as you saw they were just in such awe of their little sister they couldn't get enough of her they are such proud big brothers you guys and just really is so helpful so anyway they've brought us up to the birthing center here this is in a local town and it is a separate facility to the hospital this is a place that you can stay up to 48 hours after baby's born um, up to you if you want to go straight home from hospital so I have always spent at least a night, maybe two in hospital, just establishing that breastfeeding, being able to bond with baby and make those connections, get some peaceful time because as I've got more children, it gets a bit crazy and chaotic at home and you know, the hustle and bustle of life, I would be attending to all of them and I really want to spend this sweet time with baby girl and just this morning was so peaceful, so tranquil here, we did skin to skin, feeding, <sighs> lots of cuddles and just really getting to take my time and be one-on-one -on -one with her now finally the moment I've been waiting for the baby girls a name reveal she has an extra special name because it is a name we picked huh? out when we went to find out if Hunter was a boy or a girl if it was a girl it was to be this name and now our princess is here she gets the name also her middle name is after her guardian angel my beloved mum in heaven turn <laughs> just got my lunch delivered and look at this out to the courtyard someone's asleep at the sick I don't want to jinx myself but look at this you guys the service she brought me my long cookies she's so wonderful and some veggie nachos some salad can't complain right out to my deck Enjoy why I can. So the moment had come, we were going to take our sweet baby girl Kendall home. Here she is arriving. This was a few hours before the boys finished school. Here she comes. There she blows. Welcome home. Baby. So quiet. Who's <laughs> fast asleep? We're home, baby girl. So we got a few snuggles in here before our boys were coming home from school and you guys will never believe but look at this our poor hunter got chicken pox the day I arrived home he came home covered in spots Winston took him down to the local A&E and yep it was a chicken pox so that was just a really unfortunate timing the doctors ensured us that baby girl was going to be safe and fine maybe just keep him with his mask and things just not breathing all over her and just also no direct contact so just making sure his and her skins were covered but he should be fine and she should be fine because she was having breast milk and there's lots of antibodies nice and, and things and yeah, breast milk to keep her safe we should be fine so yeah poor wee boy he got it really bad as you saw on his face there he was just so itchy just so miserable he spent the whole first week of a baby girl's life here with me at home so he was such a great helper as you saw he still wanted to hold and cuddle and help so yeah here was our sweet girl Kendall's first official bath and all her brothers were here waiting in arms wanting to be ever so helpful 
First time feeling the water. Oh. And oh my gosh, as you can hear, she was a little upset there. I had to try and settle her down. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Well, parent fail 101, you guys. She was due a feed, and so she was just a hungry little girl. Or should I say, hangry little girl, and was not happy with me for putting her in the bath. But I tell you, by the time she had her second bath, she absolutely loved it. Is that nice? Is that nice? Oh, is that nice? Oh. Oh dear, I, you're so hungry. Now what, now you're mellow. Yeah. Does that feel scary. good? No, I've been back in the water. Do you feel good? Feels good. You're all done. Successful, look. All wrapped up. You're all bucked up. Is she looking at you? She is looking at you, look. <laughs> hey baby girl. Who's Ashy? Here he is. Ashy's trying to talk to you. Oh look, we lost our photo together. Oh, the Okay. Now three days old, here is Uncle and Papa getting to meet a darling little Princess Kendall. Now Uncle and Auntie Vance spoiled her and gifted her this beautiful little feather corduroy. The whole detail of it, it is so sentimental, so gorgeous and beautiful and just will be treasured by Kendall for a lifetime. Check this out, look how beautiful this detail is. Little feathers. Gold texture in it and look at all of the feathers. Just beautiful. Look at what this came with. This little frame with this beautiful little saying in it. So so pretty you guys. Just called our little doll. <laughs> These guys are not feeling so well. Not good timing. Having to keep up with all the cleaning and disinfecting and look at the little doll. Fast mm. asleep. Just had a shower, so um, that's why she's loving this white noise. The white noise of the fan. The sound is really good. She loves it. It's soothing. It's keeping it quiet while your mum is busy. Um, but yeah. That she just gorgeous, doing so well. And me, well, these things are, and they're very full, very tender, very sore. This is recovering nicely. A nice hairline, funny hairline coming down, but two days. It's not bad, still a bit puffy, but pretty good, really. Yeah, so that was pretty much our first week here at home with our darling sweet new baby girl. This is me just catching up where I could, pajamas and all. Just when I could get housework done, I did. Baby girl was either in a front pack in my arms or sleeping. Just wanted to be near me with me. And yeah, just taking it in our strides. Loving life. Like a diamond in the sky, twinkle, do you know how I wonder what you are? <laughs> so cute. Singing to the sissy. Oh look, she's got her eyes up and looking. Can I see it, Mum? Yeah. Sing it, A, B, C, so, so. Okay, Mum, can we do a different song now? Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, I, M, N, O, P, Q, R, X, T, U, V,